Hi, I'm here again with Dr. Romano, and I have a question. Could you show me a problem with some aromatic chemistry that a student could expect to see on the DAT exam? Yes, I could. I have a wonderful question I'd like to review with you um, on how to do some aromatic chemistry. Let's take a look. It looks a little scary, I have to admit, but let's go through and see if we can sort it out. In the very first step, I took a benzene ring and I hit it with nitric acid and sulfuric acid. And that is how I put on an NO2 group or a nitro group. So I've nitrated the ring. The second step, what I did was called a reduction. In a reduction, I'm gonna transform an NO2 group into an NH2 group. And I can do this several ways, but one of which I can use 10 HCl and base, or I could have used iron and HCl and base, or hydrogen and platinum. Once I got an NH2 group installed, here's a step that I find that most students don't recognize. I've created what is called a diazonium salt. And what I do is I use NaNO2 and HCl. I keep it nice and cold, below five degrees Celsius. The N2 group is a wicked leaving group, and we want to make sure that we can make this molecule and it has sufficient stability. Instead of any NO2 and HCl, sometimes we might see it written as HONO. Now, once we create a diazonium salt, um, that particular one would have a name. It would be called benzene diazonium chloride. Okay, once we make the diazonium salt, there's a whole array of different chemical reactions that it could undergo. For example, let's review now. So I'm gonna take this and we're gonna put it here. If you treat the diazonium salt with CuCl or CuBr, we would put on a chlorine and a Br respectively. You can almost think of this N2 group Cl minus is one big gigantic leaving group, sort of analogous to the SN2 process, where we kick one group out and we put another group in. We could also react it with CuCn. That's one of my favorite ways to put on a CN group, a nitrile, onto a benzene ring. Here's a hard one. Most kids have no clue on what this is. This is called hypophosphorus acid, H3PO2, and what it does, it replaces the N2 Cl minus group with an H. Now, if you replace the H with a D, you would deuterate the molecule, and that's a wonderful way how to deuterate a benzene ring. Another reaction we can do is potassium iodide. That puts on an iodide. Heating the diazonium salt with H3O plus puts on a phenol. It's one of my very favorite ways to make a phenol. And finally, one other reaction which I missed here, if we react this with BF4- and heat, we install a fluorine group. Fluorine is not so easy to put on a benzene ring, but by doing it through a diazonium salt, this transformation is quite easy. Hopefully this gives you a good idea on a whole different spectrum of reactions with diazonium salts, and it is indeed a very important topic for the DAT exam. All right, I hope that clears some stuff up and gives you an idea of not only the reaction to the diazonium salts, but the preparation of a diazonium salt before we do the reactions on it. All right, I hope that helps. Thank you, Dr. Romano. We can't wait for more. You're very welcome.